My peoples, my peoples, right now, you're here, Kennington. I just wanted to take you way back, way back. Like when I was a youngin, Star Lane Primary School. Yeah, this is where I grew up with most of my friends, like I grew up with my friends, like, and we've all had, like, what is it, 25 plus relationships from youngins, from nursery. But yeah, this is where we grew up, and over there, across the world over there, is Star Park, where um, we used to host tournaments, ironworks, big up Jerry, Jerry for that, and um, all the kids around the manor used to go over there, play tournaments. I know at the back of these houses and that, this is um, Eastleigh Field, where we used to play football with the man them again, football with the man them. Everything was football. Football was lifestyle. This is this is the this is the end that made me. If it wasn't for this ends, obviously me, I've always had a character, but this this is the ends that made me who I am in a way where don't eat like Medi Elito jokes, banter, everything. If I was if I was raised in Manchester, uh, I'll be a Yuma, I don't know what I'll be doing. Uh, uh, I think I'll be naked. I really took football serious, like, because when I was younger, I was playing for my Sunday league team, like, Royal Falcons, Peacock. But when I went to secondary school, kind of, you see when you buck up with um, people from other areas and that, like, my love for football didn't go away, but I just got caught up in different things and I didn't really take football serious like that. But it got around to year eight, when I started playing for the school team, and we started winning cups and all these things. I just started taking it serious and people, that's when people knew, like, well, right, nah, Mehdi's actually a baller. I'll tell you one story. There was a game, there was me and um, my boy, Kai, was playing in a um, London, London Cup. And uh, obviously he got, he got a red card, but the, the, the ref said he didn't want to send him off, but we can make a sub. So it was 1-0 down against a team in the um, South. I, got, I forgot the name of the team anyway. 20 minutes to go. Teachers come up to him and uh, team talk, team talk. We're 1-0 down, 20 minutes to go. Team talk teaches that to me. Kyle's off. I know you lot work good together. You're gonna win us the game. What happened? 75th minute. Go. Who scored it? Hmm? 80th minute. Go. 90th minute. Go. Uh, the place went crazy. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> hey, celebration. Hey. Bro, I'm outside Eastley, I'm outside Eastley, like, where are you? I'm outside Eastley, I'm even telling my stories, I'm outside Eastley, where are you right now? Yeah, that's my dog. See when I say, see when I say 25 plus years. Plus, plus, plus. Huh? So we're in the mud. <laughs> yeah, memories, Chico. Yeah, man, football, getting into trouble, fights, everything, man. In school, yeah, when we was in school, Mindy's was allowed to get away with everything. Like, play, like, I think because he's playing football, like, he can get, he can bunk classes, come to school anytime he wants, like, he was suffering, like, the used to fancy him, bred him, you know how footballers get the, the special treatment, like, nah, I, I, I just thought, like, I was a good student, that's why yeah. I did it. Mindy hmm? oh. was the worst student now, yeah. <laughs> worst. What? I was a good student, like, you see, worst. the way. Naughty. Hmm? Naughty? No! Not naughty, but, like, just, like, he likes to do jokes, man. You know how he is, like, he's a clown, class clown. Like, a lot of memories, man. A lot of memories here. This is where I grew up. There's a lot of bad things happening. And there's a lot of good things. Let me see, let me take it, let me take you to, um, Humphrey. Let me take it to, uh, take, it, it should be open. What's the time now? Let's, let's see. Mm. It might be. Obviously, East London was racist. I'm not gonna lie, it was racist. You had them, you had a lot of, like, multicultural people. But it was racist, innit, like Chico? Probably this area, like Caddington, Custom House and that, was all white, innit? White area. Very white yeah. For like Africans, Somalians, started coming in. But it was mad, like, they used to, like, they used to do mad shit, these white boys. They beat up black people, cool monkey chants. Yeah, I remember. Go, um, I don't want to say the bad word, but packy bashing. They were the maddest shit. Back in the days, um, my brothers and that used to run in the house from early morning and my mum used to be like, what's wrong in that? Like, we're getting chased by the hunts. Like, that's when the I hunts. first found out about the hunts. And I was like, I used to think when I was a kid, who's the hunts? But it was like a group of white boys with their uncles, uncles, dads, cousins and that. Just used to chase like the black boys and that and used to try to beat them up. 
or catch them slipping kind of thing. But it was mad because the way they sorted out their differences at then, is like playing football. But even when they played football, after like, if the black team wins, they used to chuck like glass bottles at them. You know their beer bottles and that. When the, um, my brother's team in that one, calling them, you know, the the N word and all these things, it was kind of mad because I, I see it first hand. And I was young when because I I played in the game myself, but I was young. I was around about eleven in them times, and that's what that's what used to happen. And they used to live. Some of them used to live on this road here, like Mikey Hunt, Porky Hunt. Um, I forgot the names, but it's it's, it's mad how things change, you know. Because even 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 one of them now. It's got um baby, two babies with a black shop, girl. Uncle shop is a meat shop where you get ribs, meat, you get you get everything. My mum used to send me bags. He used, used to even fancy one girl. She see me carrying meats and I, I'm a, oh. I went home. My mum said, "You bring the meat. I dropped the bags like this. The meat is there, man. What are you saying? Nothing, no, man. I'm just here, man. I'm just showing them the shop." Yeah, I'm filming the shop. Look, I mean, mum used to make me come and get this pluvera, like pluvera, is it? Pluvera. I know, like, as chicken, she's saying pluvera. What's pluvera? I know this as chicken, she's telling me, look, 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 let me show you, look, show them, look. Taba, smoke taba, like, smoke hen. Wow. So imagine the girl, every time I get my trim, the girl used to come on the home road. Like, hi, Medi. <laughs> I used to be like, you get me? I used to be like, what? Oh my god. I used to be like, what? You get me? My trim Shit. pattern. One day she saw me with bags like Dubba, all these things. I'm even walking. It's like, hey, Medi. I'm even. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're a joke, blood. I swear to God, blood. This is a picture of my pop shit, a queen, blood. Yeah. The MBE and them things there. Yeah, blood. Tell them what's happening. MBE and them things there. Tell them and get with Wayne. Tell them. them. We are going to chat about um, how, 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 how life's affected you as black people and that is for the black lives matter. Yeah, 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 no, man. yeah, yeah, man. Because when I was watching that, like, yeah, I was, I was, when I was watching that, like, yeah, I was thinking, well, you must okay, yeah, come on, man. That's the way you have to, you have to let them know. But right now, yeah, I'm gonna yeah, love yeah. you and leave you. Yeah, I just came to show the shop yeah, where my mum used to send me. What time is it? Come on, show them, tell them, tell them what we're selling right now. Tell them what we're selling. What do you sell in the shop? I mean, like obviously, like like you said, we've got like the chicken, mm. we've got like chicken, uh. smoked chicken, uh. all the diet. Come and on. Not only that. We've got the ribs, yeah. we've got the smoke, we've got the tubber, uh, the pig uh, we've got the fish, uh, the catfish, uh, and then not only that, yeah, not only that, we've also got the uh, the sapu. Come, come on, sapu, come on, come on. Yeah, because yeah. million pound business. Yeah, yeah but million pound business. Here, yeah, there was one time, yeah, there was a lady, yeah, she bought six of them. Six of them? Yeah, Vlad, imagine that. Six of the sapu, you know. Come on. Yeah, brother, man, don't you see, yeah, man's got them things all panned up. So me and Bicky, me and Bicky were chilling now. Bicky's ordering his food. One of our people, them's uncle outside, isn't it? Dad, dad, I should say. But I'm seeing him talking to some white guy. The white guy's asking, "Have you got, have you got a phone? Have you got a time?" So uncle's like took out his phone now. The guy's nicked it now, and ducked out. I'm like, I'm like, yo. Bicky, I think my man just stole uncle's phone, you know? Ah. So me and Bicky run out now. I'm like, uncle, yeah. did my man take your phone? He said, yeah, yeah, yeah. And now he's like, yeah, chase him, chase him. Chase. Bicky left his food, so we're cutting out. Let's the place out. We're running. The guys cut through there, but me and Bicky know we can catch him this way, innit? Within, within like 20 seconds when he's running, man, man's trying to sell the phone to some youths that we know here. He caught him now, he's got the phone, he's trying to duck. The first thing I've done was, Kicked his leg, boom, it dropped. Started tucking him in, started tucking him, tucking him. Bro, but we can't find the phone. It's like, where's the phone? Bro, what, man? It said, Billy, they're over here. I'm not gonna lie to you. I see some big guy, West Ham tattoo on his belly, walking, like four men walking out there. It's just me and Bicky. I looked at Bicky. Bro, one of our boys, we even bought one of our boys, he saw us running. He didn't even know what's happening. He just started cutting that himself. He just started ducking. I said, but uncle passed away as well. RIP uncle, man. It's sad, but that's, that's a story though, man. Yeah, we're here, man. 
Well, yeah, this is where I come get the fabrics and materials for our clients when they want something. All the stuff made in England? All the stuff is made in England. All the stuff is made in England. But if they want to, if they want to, um, some things are made in Turkey, where they get the things from. Some things are made in, um, what's other place, um, Albania. Like, it, it varies, but sometimes some of the things here are made in England, but then they get imported from, you know, Turkey, all these places. Materials. Sometimes it's hard work getting materials for clients and that. But I like it though, it's fun. It's fun though, because when you get the right one sometimes, not sometimes, all the time, clients are happy with the, with the fabrics and materials. What happens? We sell, we sell fabrics here. Uh, we are both wholesalers and retailers. We really like our job. Uh, it's a it's a job that came uh, from my father basically you know mm. it's a family business and uh, you know we're trying to do something uh, good in London also let's see <laughs> so what do you what do you like look for in materials the fill and how how it will fill on and if it's washable, because a lot of things nowadays, like if you wash it once and that, uh, everything just collapses. But yeah, it's the feel, the material, and if it's stretchy. Obviously, if the girls are making, you know, if the people are making tracksuits or if it's to do with um, women, women clothes, like dresses and that, obviously you want things to be st stretchy. What's the word I'm looking for? Bond bondage? Bondage? But yeah, this is my kind of thing though. I'm gonna start making things too. Watch, what I'm gonna start making. Watch, I'm gonna start making dresses. I'm gonna start making dresses for the garden. Remember, I told you. Remember, I told you this. I'm gonna start making dresses for the garden. People are gonna say, "Wow, don't these things lit?" You know, made these things lit. But coming out soon. Don't watch that. Right now, obviously, we got the samples for the clients and that. Right now, we're going straight to the factory. Let me take to the factory. Show where the, the real business goes down, you get me? Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. It's not like you. Sorry. Story. Well, what's the name of that song? That's the type of music I listen to. Not every day, rap, 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 little burp, little twerk, little perp, all these. Sometimes just nice, calm music. Yeah, 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 oh no, yeah. Well, we're just literally getting to the factory right now. Yeah, we're here, the factory. So we're just talking to, you know, um, the owner of the place at that time, saying that we're coming to do trackies. But at the moment, at the time, I was speaking to my guy. He was going through a little something. Everything was getting on top for him. So he sat us down and spoke to us saying, why, why don't we just buy this factory? Well, obviously, at the time, I don't know my things about fabrics and all these things, but with everything to do, when, once you get involved, you learn. So I was, I was a bit hesitant, like, I was a bit sceptical with that and that. But I spoke to my boy, I spoke to Bicky in there, I spoke to AB, he said, why not? It's a like, good opportunity, like, with everything, you learn, innit? So I was going back and forth, and then they said a price, and we managed 
to buy it. But at the time, I was thinking, how many people do I know in London or girls, uh, guys that are doing, uh, you know, clothing? So I thought it was the best thing to do. And since since I jumped on it, oh, it was just positives been coming out of it. Like, no L's at the moment, like, well, thank God, but just positive. Yeah, everyone, even man that I was talking there now, will tell you that I was the rudest, even when Donnie was in that league. Bro, man was the rudest, man. I'm telling you. It was me, Donnie, probably Chris Arthur, the free man, but you see me, what I had over these man, yeah, was I had the finesse blood like, outside the booth. <laughs> Donnie had no end product cards. The him and Chris Arthur just bare tricks and that. But then he made his league debut before me, but you know, we, we move, innit? We move, innit? John Glowacki had him up. Man started taking it to the roadside, saying, What? Do you know where I'm from? Look, it's football. We don't want to know where you're from, it's football. I'm 16 though, everyone took it to that though. No. <laughs> Trick soon come out and then he's back to the morning team. Couple man getting wrapped up some of the gym. Really live right now. Really live right now. Where are you? I'm literally just going to get some bits from Zara. Obviously, maybe has got a fleek up my thing, you know what I think. Yeah. Wait, where are you going? Where are you going to get? What zone are you going to? Huh? What zone are you going to? Uh, I'm going to the one in Canary Wolf. Okay, okay. Where you been on? Oh, where you got now? I'm going to the studio still. Are you going to the studio, yeah? Yeah, going to the studio. Then we're back. We're going to be in Canary literally in the next half an hour. Are you going to be in Canary in half an hour, yeah? Yeah, next half an hour. Yeah, you might as well link up because me, I'm really going to be inside, outside, yeah. flaking. <laughs> Say it now, you're really going to link up, don't worry. It's in the studio. Swabs, you want to tell them what was it? Like, what room is this? What room is this room? Uh, Main studio, yeah. studio A. They've got the booth over there as well. So a little bit to get done, but you know. Well, good, Pete. My God. Pete, Pete in the building, Pete in the cup. Yes, bro. You good? Yeah. Nice. Got the booth, bro. Looking crazy, still. Man, isn't it? Looking crazy. When is it gonna be done? Mm. Yeah, this is what we got pattern. Get yeah, user. Wait, I'm not gonna intro introduce yourself, Spaz. I'm not. Spaz, Spaz, Spaz on it, Master Chef. That's what they call me. Yeah. Producer, all multi, all, all genres. So yeah, I'm about. Obviously, I do music, but music is a hobby. But I met, I met Spaz through music. But when you got good people around you who always want you to win. I want you to put your money and invest in the right things. This is the kind of people that you should be around in because when this first started, what was it like? Nothing. Literally empty. <laughs> empty. It's run down it's like a it's like, it's like a cell. And Spaz Spaz has been been producing for time and also we used to I used to go to Spaz's house to um do my sessions and that and people like Vic and A B was thinking ahead of things to do in the future. And they wanted to create a space where people can come and you know um book the what's it called sessions and all this but give spubs a space where he can feel like he's in an environment where he's ready to produce the magic so yeah this is what this is what they've been doing this is what the man have been doing so it's, like i said it's all about positive and being around the right people because yeah. you want to see everyone win and bro sometimes man them man them they're your boys but don't get me wrong man them don't need to always bring you in and things but well, whenever there's something going on, the man them shout me and bring me in. And yeah, man, now Spaz has got his space and all these things is happening. Yeah, man, we even got another space up there. I don't know what they're trying to do up there. Sweet. Mm -hmm. Some Caribbean juice. <laughs> Caribbean juice. To bring us some man. juice. Hey, well, look. why the man them like this, bro? Give me a hug, man. Show the man them like this. I'm going to do that. Come on, man. I'm going to write as well. I'm going to write as well. I'm cool, man. Come on. <laughs> I want IB for me. I'm on it. Let's go. You on it? I'm on it hard. <laughs> hard. You're, you're not beef. I'll go. I beef. It's, it's green. Yeah. It's green. Oh, it's all about it's steady. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I beef as a spot. Yeah. It's green. I don't mind. It's the man that I don't mind. I don't mind. Beef as a spot. Cheap and cheerful. When's your birthday, AB? First week, man. Second week. Wow. Yeah. It makes Let's sense. Go. Then. Let's go on the first week then. It makes sense then. Yeah. 
When you're seeing the poopies, you're going to be dancing. What is the Mykonos? You're dancing in that room, bro. Right now, we're just coming out the studio. We see how the studio's pattern. We're trying to do it. So right now, we're going to MW Crowns to check out some watch pieces. Uh, wow, well, I don't want to come over the price of 50, 60. Wow. You get me? That's what we got now, though. For me, I've always thought just to look after my family, to look after, obviously I've got a little boy, and I just want him to, I want to give him the best life that I didn't have. And I'm not saying I didn't have the best life, but when I was younger, my mum, my mum and dad basically got me everything, but not everything that I wanted as a, as a kid. So I just want, I just want my son to not ask me for things and I won't be able to give it to him. And another thing is um, that to have um, financial freedom. That's the main thing and goals that like, just to leave leave things behind for your kids and my nieces and nephews. That's why it's, it's important to invest. Like I said, my brother started it with me from young when we got the flat in Colchester and looking to get a flat now before I move into move into a proper house, like my own house. And yeah, the importance of investing is just to keep generating money because football don't last forever. You want to be able to, you know, have um four sources of income after when you finish football that you can sit back and the wage that the income will be giving you is a, an equivalent of um, what you was getting at football so you're comfortable. Can't stop my grind. grind, I've got five goals, money, times wide, can't be wrong, need money in my life, give my free five, give my money, enemies are thinking my slug, fuck! 25 Calvert Square. 25 Calvert Square. Let me even. Let me put on. Hold on. Hold on. What? Let me call you back. Hold on. Big Benz, you're not. Hey, hey, hey. You're not jewelers. Big Benz. Behind the ballers. Jewelers. Why are you going to two watches? Big Benz. Big Benz. Hey. Pattern. 
Yeah, like, listen, but let me tell you something. Can I say something quick? Mm-hmm. Don't get pressured into buying this because now I don't know what to eat now. Yo! Fuck the man, them. Let me. My bro is that. <laughs> come on, come on, man. We're now, there, we're there. Man. Now. <laughs> Time to go and get food. Maybe Mid- what's Mid- Mid- this? Maybe what's this? Food, no food for the month. Come, let's go, let's go, let's go and eat, man. Come, let's go. Since you bought that watch, it's on me, bro. <laughs> 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 Take out the links though. Mama nanga yay. Nice. And you see this this thing, investment man. Which we have to do. I've always said I wanted a, a new watch, but see the wrapping thing, mods. Nah, it's investment, man, it's investment. You know what I mean? a big thing, I can't, you know, I can't do all of those things. I'm still a little baby, bro. Yeah, man. Mm-hmm. Oh. Too much money in the account. When you rolled with me, you saw the man, them, you saw my patterns. You wanted to do more things, but get me business calls, things are getting in the way, but you rolled with me today for what? 12, 12, 10 hours. That's the pattern, man. This is what I get up to day and day, you get me? I'm out. I'm not going to do that. Obviously, I'm going to take this off when I'm not doing the rapping thing, but you get me? That's where it is. Don E, Medellito, Baller Talk, we out. Real.